Good morning. Let us see today kinetic salt effects. The effect of what is salt effect? Addition of salt to the reactions. Addition of salt to the reactions. So, salt effect is the study of effect of ionic strength or addition of electrolyte on the rate of ionic reactions. For example, there will be no effect of um, there will be no effect of added salt on the rate of the reaction in the case of neutral reactants. Suppose the reactants are neutral, if the react two reactants are neutral, then addition of salt or increase in ionic strength, um, ionic strength is nothing but addition of salt. If you add more salt, then the ionic strength will be high. It is calculated by using the formula we have seen already in the electrochemistry video. Please watch uh, how the ionic strength is calculated. We have seen a uh, few problems. Uh, it is often asked in various uh, exams. Okay, now there are two types of salt effects primary salt effects and uh, secondary salt effects. Primary salt effect deals with the study of ionic strength or addition of electrolytes on the rates of ionic reactions. Remember, ionic reactions are only affected by the increase in the ionic strength or by the addition of electrolytes to the solution. Okay, now what is secondary salt effect? It is the study of change in the concentration of reacting ions. Reacting ions. For example, Upon addition of uh, mm -hmm. electrolytes or upon increase in ionic strength, there will be change in the concentration of the reacting ions. For example, thiosulfate I minus, there will be change in the concentration um, due to the increase in the ionic strength. Okay, now let us consider a general example where the reactants involved are ions. Where the reactants involved are ions. The, you have studied ionic reactions are very, very fast. Ionic reactions are very, very fast. Instant linear, you have studied. So, let us consider two ions. A, Z, A is a B ion. Z, the charge on the reacting ion, Z, A. On A, the charge on B, reacting ion B is Z, B. The, the two reacting ions combine to form activated complex. Activated complex. This is a fast reaction and this is a slow reaction with the rate constant K frame. Okay. So this is a there is an equilibrium formed between the reactants and the activated complex. The activated complex once formed it is converted into products. It is converted into products. This reaction is very similar to your enzyme catalysis, catalytic reactions. Please go back and see the enzyme catalysis video. Okay. Now let us apply the uh, equilibrium. Let us apply the equilibrium to obtain the equilibrium constant. Equilibrium constant for the formation of the activated complex. Therefore, K as symbol give equal to activity of the in terms of activity according to law of mass action uh, the rate of reaction is directly proportional to the active mass of the reactants active mass of the reactants um, or active mass of the reverse reaction uh, directly proportional to the active mass of the products therefore the products A activity of X gas divided by activity of A is a A activity of B. Okay. Therefore, you we know that the activity is directly proportional to concentration. The activity is directly proportional to concentration. Activity equal to proportional to concentration is gamma. For dilute solution, we have seen uh, gamma equal to 1. But uh, for not all cases, gamma is not 1. Activity coefficient. This is the gamma is activity coefficient. Activity coefficient is not equal to 1. Therefore, we can write this term that is concentration of uh, this concentration of activated complex 
charge on the activated complex is the summation of charge on A and charge on B. Okay, therefore divided by uh, into gamma as symbol divided by A concentration of A and the concentration of B gamma gamma activity equation of A and activity equation of B. Let us call this equation as two. Now. Well, the slowest step, the slowest step is the rate determining step. Therefore, the rate of the reaction is equal to K prime, the rate constant for this, into concentration of the activated complex. Okay. Now, from this equation, the concentration of the activated complex. Now, uh, we will not put this. Therefore, you take this here. The whole term and this term here, whole term here and this here, and substitute in this expression, and uh, then the substitute uh, substituted that. Okay, so K prime K double uh, K has symbol concentration of A this one concentration of uh, this is K concentration of B gamma A gamma B. Um, okay, then divided by gamma. For second order reaction. For the second order, uh, considering this as second order reaction, or the rate of reaction is equal to second order rate constant into concentration of reactant, concentration of uh, uh, A, and concentration of B. Okay. Therefore, now we need rate constant. We need the rate constant, the effect of uh, average strength on the rate constant of the reaction or rate of the reaction. Therefore, rate constant and taking out. Therefore, rate constant, then you bring this R by the concentration of A, concentration of B. Okay. Now, K. Similarly, you just concentration of A, concentration of B, take this here. Therefore, equal to K. Therefore, K equal to, K equal to K prime, K prime and K has is taken as another constant. This is constant. This is equilibrium constant, therefore K naught, therefore K naught into gamma A. This is um, gamma A into gamma B divided by gamma plus. This equation is obtained on substituting uh, this term into K. Okay. Now let us take on taking logarithm of this equation. On taking logarithm ln K equal to ln uh, natural logarithm K naught plus ln gamma A gamma B divided by Gamma has equal. Okay. Now, in this expression, gamma A, gamma B, and gamma has are activity coefficients. From Debye Hertel law, we have studied in electrochemistry uh, by using Debye Hertel law, we can calculate the activity coefficients. Remember, this is often asked in various competitive examinations. The activity coefficients can be calculated from the ionic strength of the solution, ionic strength of the electrolytic solution. By using debye hertel limiting law, we can calculate the, so we know the rate, uh, rate from, from the rate, rate constant is obtained, K naught is constant. How do we get this, this uh, activity coefficient? They are obtained from debye hertel limiting law, this is very, very important. Uh, please remember this equation, L, uh, natural logarithm gamma i equal to A minus A, is that I whole square and the square root of i? Okay, where i is the ionic strength. Uh, it is calculated by using the formula. We have uh, given um, few problems and uh, how it is calculated in previous video. Please go back and see. Therefore, now to substitute, for example, here ln gamma a equal to minus a is a constant for a pure solution a equal to 0 0.21. At 25 degrees Celsius, okay, it is uh, we can it's a constant. Now gamma a minus a is the a whole square square root of i. I is the total ionic strength uh, of the solution, electrolytic solution. Therefore, similarly, ln gamma b equal to minus a is the b whole square i. Similarly, ln gamma has symbol equal to minus a is the a plus B whole square because the charge on the activated complex is Z A plus Z B. Therefore, Z A plus Z B whole square square root of I. I will show you uh, how it is derived. Um, 
okay, uh, along with this. Now, on substituting this, you will get ln k by k naught equal to 2a zj zb y root of y. This is very, very important. This gives uh, the uh, kinetic salt effect. For example, the effect of ionic strength, see, the influence of ionic strength on the rate of the ionic reaction is given by this uh, equation. Using this equation, we can calculate the rate constant. We can calculate, for example, we know that uh, A is constant, Z, A, you know the reactance, charge on the reactant, you know, for example, it is the, this reaction is carried out, uh, yeah, uh, salt effect on this uh, reaction is carried out in uh, practical in PG, MSc chemistry, thiosulfate ion plus I minus ion. So, uh, you know the ZA, ZB, and uh, uh, we are adding uh, potassium nitrate or potassium chloride. We can calculate. We can calculate the ionic strength by using the formula. Therefore, you know that then you can calculate it. Ln K, K naught is the constant. Okay. So on plotting, this is a, a linear equation. This is a straight a linear straight line equation. Therefore, y equal to this term is y equal to uh, x. This is x. Okay, this is y and this is m slope. This is slope. Let us uh, consider a few examples and uh, see uh, the plot. For example, I am plotting L and K by K naught against uh, square root of I, ionic strength, square root of I power half. Okay, now let us consider alkaline hydrolysis. Uh, hydrolysis of ester, ester hydrolysis in the presence of alkali. This this is a second order reaction. This is a second order reaction. The charge of the reactant is that A is 0 into ZB. For example, you have to calculate ZA is that B. Is that A into ZB minus 1. 0. Therefore, 0. The, uh, therefore, ionic strength, even if you increase the ionic strength, then there will be no effect of ionic strength on the rate of the reaction or rate constant of the reaction. Therefore, LN, you, are, you are increasing the ionic strength. This term is 0. Therefore, there will be no change. No effect of ionic strength on the rate of the reaction. There will be no salt effect. There will be no salt effect. For example, let us consider thiosulfate ion plus I minus gives what you will get I2. I2 form is titrated against, against thiosulfate. So the rate of reaction can be studied by titrating uh, at different time points in the absence of electrolyte, in the presence of electrolyte. So zero at zero. Uh, the rate will be this, okay, and then k by k naught is zero, and the increase in the ionic strength, you see, is that k into is that b, therefore, is that k is minus two, minus one, therefore, it will be plus, therefore, l and k by plus so, therefore, this will be plus value, therefore, it will be increasing this, uh, the slope will be, okay, plus three in uh, plus three, a. Uh, 0 0.51 into 2, we can calculate the slope. For example, they will ask you to calculate the slope of the reaction. So, you can easily calculate and you can also calculate the rate constant provided they give K naught. So, problems may be asked based on, based on this equation, based on this equation. Um, okay, they will give me from the ionic strength, you can calculate the from the ion strength, you can calculate the activity coefficient of each ion. Activity coefficient of each ion present in the solution. Okay, now let us consider the P2 plus cobalt oxide complex, CO3 plus, therefore 3 minus, and ZA into ZB plus 2 minus 3, therefore minus 6 it will be. Minus 6 will be then and K by K naught, the slope will be negative, therefore the slope will be negative. For example, if you have a, instead of 3 plus, 4 plus, this is uh, 5 minus, therefore uh, 20, therefore the slope will be steep, the slope will be steep. They will ask uh, questions, in which case the slope will be more, uh, the rate, uh, rate will be, rate constant will be high, so the rate constant will be high, okay. So, uh, we will see uh, how this 
equation is obtained from this equation by using the de Heckel limiting law and also in problems asked in uh, competitive examinations. Thank you for watching.